All right, so let's go into the regular build. We'll pull the file and then we'll install it. So we want to pull the 64 bit. So now let's go in and extract the file. Here we're going to put it onto the home and in Pi. Tell it OK. Now it's in the root directory and then we'll install it. So it's created the directories, we can close that out. Let's pull that. We're going to go into the, and you can see where it installed it in the pi or the root directory. And if we double click on the desktop, desktop link and then click execute in terminal then it's going to set up our desktop and then the icon so we have the icon we can close this out now double click on the icon Execute it and we're going to start up Rock Rail. So we're going to go OK and open up a workspace. And what we'll use is the wiki demo. Say open. OK, and now here we have the wiki demo. So we go into Rock Rail, Rail Properties, and they call the controller is called the command station. So we're going to set up the command station. We're going to delete the virtual. And we're going to add the Pi Sprog. And with it, you use the Arcan. So let's add the Arcan here. Once it pops up, you can double click and now we can configure it. So we're going to call the interface ID, we're going to call it Pi Sprog, Pi SPG 1 it's a serial connection then the bits per second is the 460 we're gonna have the ready to send and clear to send is check marked and with the device we're going to pick the AMA 0 now typically you pick for the Pi 3 is the serial 0 and this has to do with how the Pi allocates the serial ports or the Pi 4 allocates the serial ports compared to what the Pi 3 does so now we make the change we have to close out and restart the system for the changes to take place so we shut down the server we then go back into rock rail ok 
Okay, we then connect into the wiki demo. And see, it shows up the device error, and then it says not a typewriter. And that's because it's looking at the port, and it's a different port. It's not the COM port, which is the interface. So if we try to hit the power button, you could see nothing comes up or anything. Now these are this is the display in the lower left hand or right hand uh, corner, and these are like LEDs. So this is uh, for the plan health for the layout, and it will tell if it's good or if it has errors. Then next to it is the power LED then the communication LEDs and these are the three that we need to key on and you could see that the communication is down it doesn't show that it's up so let's close this out let's tell it yes so the first thing that we need to do is we need to pull up and get the UARTs clear to send and ready to send overlay. So let's do that. Wait a minute, before we look at the overlay, let's look at the status of the serial ports. So open up a terminal and then let's we're going to enter the command ls dash l slash dev for device slash serial and then we're going to use the asterisk because we want to see all of the delimit or the asterisk as a delimiter so here we see that serial one is attached to tty ama zero now here's the here's the core of the problem the raspberry pi and the pi sprog are actually looking for or need to look at serial port zero and we need to attach tty ama zero to serial port zero this is the core of the disconnect between the two boards and now let's look at to get the overlay and the overlay is going to address that next we want to get the CTR the clear to send ready to send overlay I'll have the link down in the description for this particular file and what we want to do is a wget so we type super user do and then wget and then with the the link then the system will go out it will get that file now we can list the file here and you could see it shows up now maybe this is what we should do instead let's change the directory so cd boot slash and then over overlays o v e r l a y s so we list this and when we scroll up you will see that the UARTs here it is there's the UARTs 0 through 5 and let's issue the command again because we want it to bring a copy the file into this directory so now list and let's scroll up 
and here it is so if you issue that command depending on where you're at that's where it will uh, copy that file so move into the boot do a change disk go into boot and then overlays and then issue the command and that way you'll get this this DTBO file the UART's DTBO file will get downloaded inside of this directory if it doesn't get placed in that directory then it won't load and you'll get errors that will say that the UART's CT uh, clear to send ready to send did not load so now with that installed we can close this or actually we still need this here we can clear the screen so we want to configure the UART and the clear to send and we do that in the the boot command or the boot config file so we go super user do and then we want to use the editing tool which is nano and we're going to look at boot slash config dot text so now this is going to edit that file so we scroll down to the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to add the overlay uh, commands. So here we enter the device tree overlay and we put in the mini UARTs slash or dash Bluetooth, the BT, and then the overlay for the UARTs. So once those are installed or added, then we do a control X and then yes to save the file or save the update and now we want to reboot oh no 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 I'm sorry there's one more command that we need to issue and there's a or not a command but a file that we have to edit and that's going to be the command line and what this command line does is it configures a console and that console could use the port and tie things up for us and that's this console TTY we want to remove that out and this line you don't want to edit anything or disrupt any of this file or it will give you headaches so just take that TTY out so then we do the control X and then yes and now it's saved okay so we want to reboot the system again Now that the system's rebooted, let's look at the configuration and let's look at the change. And what we want to what we want to do is to look at the serial ports. So we type list dash l slash device dev slash serial, and we're going to use the asterisk as the um, That's the default. So notice that serial one is now TTY S zero and serial zero is TTY AMA zero. Before TTY AMA zero was serial one, and that's what this overlay does is it swaps that. When it that swapped, then that allows the Pi to access the right pins to communicate with the Pi Sprog. So let's close this out and now let's start up Rockrail. Oh, 
let's do recent workspace so now you see I connect uh, or I click the power and now look at all of the the LEDs here so the power is on and it has communications so this shows and proves that the UART is key to bringing up the Raspberry Pi 4 with the Pi Sprog so I've got a engine on the track and what we can do is go in the table pull up a locomotive and we're going to add a new locomotive we're going to go into the interface and we're going to tell it to listen for the Pi, uh, the Pi Sprog 1 and we have the address of uh, 3 and let's put OK and here's the new system or uh, the new loco so that's highlighted and there it's in the background so there's the bell So that's it. So now you got complete communications. The engine is powered up. You can hear it. And the lights are going on and off. So you can set it up for more of the F keys, but that's, I mean, we don't have to go. The key is that it's, we've got it uh, going. So let's cut the power off. And now we see the LED go off. So this is how you bring up the Raspberry Pi 4 with the Pi Sprog and the key is pulling down that uh, the UARTs. If you don't have that UARTs clear to send and ready to send overlay, it's not going to work. It's like it. Enjoy. Hope you get your Pi uh, Sprog going and enjoy it because it's a really good device. I like it compact and whatnot. So you guys take care and we'll talk to you later. Bye.